Are you thinking of moving to Oklahoma City from another state and you want the scoop on this place? I'm going to give it to you. As someone who grew up in Southern California and married an Air Force man, I've moved in and out of Oklahoma three times, as well as living in Arizona, Japan, and Germany. I had no idea what to expect when I made my first move here. And YouTube didn't even exist yet, so I couldn't get the information I'm about to give you. There are definitely things I love and definitely things I don't. I'm gonna tell you what I really think and give you my pros and cons for living in Oklahoma City. Hi everyone, if this is your first time watching my videos, I'm Laura Kennedy and I'm a realtor helping people buy and sell with ease in the Oklahoma City area. If you want to get in touch with me for more guidance on suburbs or specific neighborhoods or anything related to moving and living here, open the description box, click the link and set up a meeting with me. I love giving you free information. All right, now pros and cons. To keep it interesting, I'm going to toggle back and forth between each category. This is in no particular order, so hang with me so you don't miss anything that might be a big no or a big yes for you. Let's start with a bad so we can end with a good. Okay, con number one, no beach or mountain. If you've looked at a map where Oklahoma is located, I don't think this will come as any surprise. If you wanna stick your toes in the sand for an ocean getaway or have a winter vacation that involves the slopes, you'll have to travel elsewhere for that. And if you want it on a daily basis, forget it. It's just not part of this landscape. This is one of my biggest downsides to living here, but Oklahoma pulled at my heartstrings in other ways, enough to where my husband and I decided to make it our permanent home. But sometimes I really do miss these things and the longing for the quicker access is, is still there sometimes. Pro number one, home prices. The cost to buy a home here is relatively lower than in other states. I'm sure this has mostly to do with that lack of mountain or beach I talked about low demand, low prices. As a newly married couple, we were so grateful for this because it allowed us to purchase our first home soon after college. That became an investment property for us later and we purchased another home and that became an investment property. Um, we've since sold those off and bought another house, but my point is Oklahoma has great opportunity to invest in property and create generational wealth or to afford a home that is closer to the one you've dreamed of living in or raising a family in. And for me, that's a huge positive. Con number two, allergies. Oklahoma is one of the worst allergenic states in the whole US. If you have any sort of environmental allergy, there's a good chance it will flare up here. If you don't have any, you might find out that you actually do. On the plus side, we have really great allergy clinics if you're interested in immunotherapy. I get allergy shots, they help me a lot, but I know a lot of people struggle here. Pro number two, four seasons. We experience all the seasons, which also means we can get extreme weather swings. If you love fair and mild weather, this state is not it. Warm 4th of July nights, crisp Halloween days, cold icy Christmases, rainy springs. We have all the cliches and all the pluses and minuses that come with that. It's hot and humid in the summer, but thankfully not too, too humid like the South. It's cold, but not super duper cold like the North. And it's not gray and rainy all the time like the Pacific Northwest. I enjoy each season as it comes, but by that season's end, I'm like ready and welcome for the next one. Con number three, driving. I love my fellow Oklahomans dearly, but my goodness, driving is not one of their best skills, especially when it comes to merging. It's as if the zipper technique has eluded them. They will speed up or slow down, but not to pass you or to let you pass them, but to enter the highway at the exact same time and speed as you are. And forget about four-way stops. I'm not sure those are even on the driving test here because I'm not sure they truly understand how they work. I have to inch my car out into the intersection slowly because the other drivers either don't realize it's not their turn, but will try to go, or they're not sure whose turn it is and they will wait and see, or they know it's their turn, but being kind, they're not in a hurry and they'll let you go. It's, it's all very confusing. <laughs> and I, I'm just having a little bit of fun here, but you know, as someone who learned to drive in California, we didn't even stop. We just kind of slow down and roll through. We call it the California roll. So I'm admittedly an impatient driver and that's not exactly a great quality. So I'm certainly not condoning anything unsafe, but <clears throat> you develop some good and bad habits when you have to navigate 10 lane highways on a daily basis like I did. But you know, here you can relax a little when you drive and so it, it probably is actually a good thing. 
Pro number three, the people. When I say I love my fellow Oklahomans, I really mean it. Oklahoma has some of the nicest people I've ever met. They are super friendly here. I noticed this right off the bat when I moved here and it's something visitors often remark on and something I've missed each time I've moved away. This is a place where neighbors will wave to you when you pass, cashier smile and chat. If you're broken down on the side of the road, people will actually stop and help you and check if you're okay. Cars will let you cross the street and they'll let other drivers into their lane. Um, people are quick to lend tools when yours break and baking supplies when you're low. The people are one of my absolute favorite things about living here. Con number four, the wind. <laughs> I might hate this most of all. It's at least it's at least in the top two for me. It is so windy here. So, so windy. Forget about good hair days. It's just not going to happen. The wind rarely stops. It blows north. It blows south. It whirls. It whirls. But what it doesn't do is end. It is always windy. If you have allergies, it's one of the reasons they can be so bad. Hang on to your hats, hold down your skirts. Some days you might have to rush to bring trash cans in after trash pickup or the blow down the street. But thankfully, as we learned, because most people are pretty friendly and helpful here, if this happens to you, a nice neighbor will likely get it back to your house. <laughs> Pro number four, it feels very safe. In general, it feels really safe to me. Not every suburb, but most. If you have kids or you're a single female or you or your parents are getting up in years and you're concerned about safety, there are plenty of neighborhoods and suburbs with low crime. Um, there's some areas I definitely wouldn't wanna hang around at night or maybe even in the day for that matter, but overall it feels very safe and I'm not constantly fearing for myself or my kids when I go out or when I shut my house down for the night. Con number five, no high-end shopping. We have plenty of shopping here. It's not like we don't have any shopping or any great stores. That's not what I'm saying. Um, and if you're like me, you probably prefer shopping online. But if you wanna make a high-end purchase, like, I don't know, a watch or a handbag or shoes or something really quote unquote fancy um, that you wanna see and handle in person, you'll have to drive to Dallas for that. Dallas has absolutely everything. It's two and a half to three hours away, so you can just get your fill. And then by the end of the trip, I can almost guarantee you'll be wore out with our traffic and ready to get back to Oklahoma City where it's a lot more calm. Pro number five, city amenities with a small town feel. There might not be lots of high-end shopping or all the amenities of Atlanta or LA or New York, but we have good museums, theater, Broadway shows. There's a large zoo, a fantastic science museum, plenty of good restaurants, all the things you would expect in a big city, but somehow it still feels homey and quaint. There's a lot of space and buildings aren't piled on top of each other. And again, people aren't as rude as I've often experienced in a big city. Um, it's like the city that gives you a hug. Is that weird to say? It's like the city that gives you a hug. That's what it feels like. Con number six, not as many nonstop flights. Since we're not as bustling as the major cities, flying often requires an extra stop. You'll most likely have to hit up Dallas or Phoenix or Atlanta or Chicago first anytime you're trying to fly somewhere. Unless, of course, you know, one of those cities are your final destination. But I love our airport. It's not super crowded. There's one terminal which has recently been updated. Um, actually, the parking has been updated and expanded too. It's really easy to fly in and out of here without having to a lot extra hours to navigate the busy maze like other airports. I really appreciate that. I actually really, really like flying in and out of here. Pro number six, minimal traffic. Unlike most big cities, unless there's an accident or major construction, there's hardly road traffic. Now, it seems as if I-35 has been under construction for 10 years, and it probably has been. Um, so there's definitely some congested parts, like if you're driving south to the Norman area at 5 p.m., um, then you might be slowed down. But for the most part, driving in and around Oklahoma City is no big deal. You don't have to plan your day around traffic hours, and I love this so, so much. Con number seven, icy winters. We may not have a lot of snow, but we get some really icy winters here. And to me, that's much worse. You have to watch out for black ice under highways and bridges and like slip sliding through stop signs in your neighborhoods or on roads where the plow hasn't made it over the streets yet. Trees crack and burst and fall down from all the ice. It's not uncommon to have roads blocked off from the fallen trees and icy branches. School usually gets canceled on icy days because the school buses can't make it into the neighborhoods. I like to look at it as a good reason to work from home that day if I can. Pro number seven, less red tape. 
Any government errand that has to be taken care of is so much easier here than some other places. I think we're all aware of the DMV nightmare stories. You know, long lines, cranky customer service, being passed from one person to another. But here it's so much better. For instance, when I need a new license plate, I can walk into any tag agency, which might just happen to be a cute little converted house, and I met with a friendly smile and usually quick service. Instead of waiting weeks for the plate to arrive by mail, the employee just reaches behind the counter and hands me my new plate. I mean, it's as easy as that. The first time this happened to me, I was surprised, delighted. I just thought it was the best thing. I had to call my friends and parents and tell them all about it. <laughs> so, um, you know, I also haven't had to stand in line here for hours to get a new driver's license or been shuffled around between employees who just can't help me. I appreciate this a whole lot. Con number eight, hail. A lot of my cons are weather related, I know, and you might be surprised to hear that tornadoes aren't one of them, but the hail. I'm not playing down the severity of tornadoes or the people and properties that have been affected by them, but in terms of weather annoyances on a more regular basis, that would be the hail for me. The area where I live doesn't seem to get as much tornado action as some other areas, but all the areas get hail. Twice I've been caught driving in random hailstorms. The second one smashed my front windshield and nearly totaled my car. The first one did total my car. It's pretty rare for Ruth to survive past five or 10 years from all the bad hail. I see that a lot. We're talking softball size hail here. Plants, trampolines, farm equipment, anything left unprotected is susceptible to damage. So if you're gonna move here, definitely check your insurance. Pro number eight, the sky. One of the first things I noticed when I moved here from Orange County, California in my early 20s was how big and blue the sky looked. I could hardly see the sky growing up because it was always covered in a thick layer of smog and there were high rises everywhere and you know, I was in a small valley. But it's pretty flat in Oklahoma and sunny most days of the year, so the sky just looks so enormous and so blue. Tucson has the prettiest rainbows I've ever seen, but Oklahoma has the biggest, bluest sky. Let me know if this was helpful. If you have pros and cons of your own, please leave them in the comments so other viewers can benefit. If you want even more info on this topic, stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna give you reasons to avoid moving to Oklahoma City. I'm gonna talk about some things I didn't talk about today, so subscribe and stay tuned. If you don't wanna wait for that and you want more info quickly, email me or set up a meeting with me. Both links are below. I'd love to help you navigate this area in a way that's custom to your wants and needs. Happy move searching. See you next time.